afternoon. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, thanks so much for your inquiry uh, on our 2018 Toyota Prado, the Kakadu, sitting right here in front of me with only about 82,000 Ks, probably only 76, 990 drive away. Absolutely awesome car. Can't wait to take you through it. It's been locally owned, full service through us as well, so you can't ask for better than that. Um, like I said, the whole idea of this video is just to take you through the, the whole Prado in a bit more detail, um, give you a bit sort of up and close to, to any little blemishes, the service books, the features, all that kind of stuff, try and fit in as much as we possibly can for you. Uh, a bit of an idea who we are, so obviously Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. So we're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. So I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, we've got another yard up at 77 Mulgrave Road, and you can see our service departments, Lexus showrooms, uh, we're up, up the hill there as well. So. Even got our general manager walking down here as well. <laughs> Say good day, Dan. <laughs> so we're absolutely jam-packed at the moment, as you can see. It means we get some absolutely awesome cars like this. So they've got to have full service history. They can't be uh, re repairable write-offs or flood damage or hail damage or any of that kind of thing. So we, we've got all the supporting docks for it because we are a Toyota franchise. So starting from the very, very front, extremely clean across the actual bonnet itself. Got all the protectors here as well. Uh, very tidy across the bonnet there. Looks like... Ah, that's just a little bit of dust that's just come off too. Looking very clean as we come across there, sort of. Can't really find anything to point out just yet. Uh, even across the windscreen there too, you can see no chips or cracks or anything like that either. Yeah, just down to that actual bonnet protector. A couple of tiny sort of stone, like sort of chips just in the actual uh, protector itself, not on the actual plastic itself. Same just there, a couple of little marks. A few little, tiny little marks in the actual uh, protector itself, but not actually in the paint behind it. So um, it's obviously done its job, which is awesome. Again, that's just all coming off. We've got a tiny little sort of smudge just there. It's not actually just, like scratching the paint or anything like that, but it is just a tiny little smudge there. Uh, I reckon a bit of polish, we might be able to clean that up, but it's all stuff that we can look at for you, that's for sure. Same from the rest of the car, obviously through the, um, the headlights here too. We do have a little scratch there on the front. Now you get a little goo one and a little stone chip just there too. Uh, as we come around, if you can't see it in the video, just let me know and I'll um, we'll get some photos through again instead. And same thing, just a little. Actually, that one's coming off. Disregard. Same thing. That's just come off too. So just a little stone chip there and there, but they're about the size of the tip of your pen. Uh, I kick these wheels out for you too, so you can see these incredibly clean across the alloys there as well. Looking very clean through there. Um, absolutely stacks of tread left in these guys too. And as you can see, I just wanted you to see them behind here too. So between the suspension and everything through there, literally looks like brand new. Doesn't look like they've spent a day off-road at all. Looks like it's just come out the showroom. So very clean across the actual guard there as well. So you've just got all your front parking sensors right across the front here. All the radars and cameras and everything in the front there too. And same thing just down the passenger side wheel arch now here too. Again, very clean through these mags. So we've also got the 360 cameras with these as well. Uh, I'll show those once we jump inside. Absolutely stacks of tread. Again, very, very clean through there too. Uh, just down the actual body of the car there as well for you. So you can see yourself, just no dints or anything like that. Just a little bit of dust on at the moment. We've had a little bit of rain lately, so just a little bit of dust on there, but we obviously get them re, re cleaned before they leave very clean through here. A couple of very faint sort of fingernail marks just on the inside of that handle but very very light. Um, we also got your keyless entry for both the front doors as well so I got the keys in my pocket that obviously locks it. As soon as we put the hand in there it's going to unlock it as well and the mirrors are going to tuck out there too. Uh, you'll notice as well while we're here we've got the little uh, two indicators for the cars as well so your blind spot monitors and these there too. Uh, we do have two genuine keys as well so one's still in the plastic bag the original plastic bag so we've got your central locking So they both work perfectly. And of course your boot release is there too. Keep coming down for you for you. Actually just before we do, I might take you inside. Because I want to show you all the service history as well. Like I said, it was locally owned here too. So just through the inner door card there too. Very clean through that main entryway. We've got your building appliance plates just there for you as well. Electric seats obviously both sides. All the adjustments there for you too. Very, very clean through here. It's got the DVD player, sunroof, everything in the back there as well. All that works. 
looks like a tiny little sort of on the actual driver's seat a little bit of a smudge I reckon I'll see if I can get that off with my finger but we'll have a look but very tidy as we come around through the rest of it so I didn't see any little scratches or holes or anything in the dash like that uh, inside here so your headphones for the back DVD player as well all the remote for the DVD player as well that's all in there too uh, all your manuals log books everything like that's in here so we've got the service history here too so like I said first service originally in 2019 10,000 k's through Pacific Toyota that's us Second service, 2019, December, 20,000 Ks through us. Uh, again, uh, at 2020 in September, 30,000 Ks through us. 2021, January, 38,000 Ks through us. Uh, June 21, through us at 49,000. December 21, 60,000 through us. And June 22 at 72, again through us. And final service in November this year, at 20, uh, 17th of November this year, 82,000 Ks through us as well. So full Pacific Toyota logbook service history. You can't ask for better than that. Uh, we've got the genuine Prado mats obviously through here too. Just lift those up. Any all that sort of stuff we just leave in the car. Just give it a quick look over the roof there as well. I'm not tall enough to see up there, but hopefully this gives you a decent view. Just down the back here as well. So we've got the, genuine, the side steps here too, the yellow side steps. And again, exceptionally clean on all these wheels. Been really, really well looked after. Stacks of tread again left through there. Through the chassis and everything as well. Fuel releases obviously on this side here too. Uh, looking pretty clean through that one, in behind there. A little bit tight for room, so just doing the best, best we can for you. We are so jam-packed. Uh, child child uh, locks on both rear doors here, of course. Uh, electric windows the whole way around. Obviously got the premium sound system being the Kakadu as well. Uh, this one is just the parcel shelf. I've left this in here because I do want to show you how those seats work in the back there, uh, there as well. So I'll just quickly lift this up out of the way for you. So you can see down here too. Genuine mats on both sides there as well. See if I can lift that side up. Yep. So it's got the um, AUX ports for those headphones that were in the console there as well. So on both sides there too. Um, we've got accessory plugs there for the kids as well. So really, really good family cars. And of course all your aircon uh, heated seat options all back here there as, as well, which is just very, very cool. Just put that back down there for you. So heaps of controls with these seats as well. Got a little argument separated in the middle there with the cup holders uh, through the middle there too. Um, obviously the 60-40 split, so this is the 40%, that's the 60. Uh, it's got child anger points across all three of these seats as well. So that'll obviously come flat down here, giving you that child restraint there. Um, through this little lever whoop, just there, that'll put it flat. However, we've got another lever here which will pick that forward and slide that forward, giving you access into the back there too. Uh, if you're in these back seats and you want to get out, that little handle there is going to do the exact same thing as well. So great for the kids. Uh, those little headrests just fold down, so they literally just fold back up into place. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but while we're here, we've got these little digital controls over this side as well. So we're going left side and right side of the car as well. So we can sit there, hold these ones down. It's going to take that first position where it's just angled forward if you just want to come for you. Or... Which does it all for you. Absolutely love that thing. It's the best, coolest thing in the world. So again, right side's going to do the exact same thing. I will show you because I want to make sure you know that it does work. So we've got controls to, to get these back up um, on the actual boot as well. So I'll show you those in just a second. We'll close that up. Click that back into place for you. Uh, like I said, DVD player up the top there as well. Got a little release there too. So that does work as well. A uh, little CD pl uh, DVD player insert up the top there uh, for you too. Keep cruising around. So many features in these things. Trying to get as much as we possibly can for you. Uh, very tidy through the back end here too. Looks like a tiny little sort of hairline scratch just there. Very faint though. Let's get rear parking sensors right across the back here. You got a reverse camera back here too. Pretty clean across the actual back there as well. Just a little bit of dust. That just comes straight off of my hand. 
got very faint sort of little marks there and there but it's, I'm talking being super picky right now uh, obviously been got the flat, flat tailgate here too you can see my little reflection in the back of the also got two access points into here as well so you can push that one there it's going to give us access through the back there as well through the glass so if you've got fridges things like that in the back close that up and otherwise with that barn door access here as well so any position you can sit here and you can lock that into place stop the kids gravity anything like that um, playing with it a couple tiny little sort of wear and tear marks in the back here so just in the actual tailgate itself pretty faint but they are there might have just had something resting up against it uh, i've got little tie down points all through the back here too so one two three and four all around here and like i said the child the same points so one two and three are all through there as well um, Seat belts, of course, tuck into these ones. So if you're putting these seats up and down, you can tuck them in nice and safely. We've got the 100 watt inverter plugged down the bottom there as well. And of course, like I said, we do have access to dropping these seats over this side here too. So we can lift these ones up. All from the back here too. I love that. I reckon it's so cool. While that's doing that, you obviously got all the grab handles through the back, aircon in every row, same thing. And very tidy through the roof on the inside there as well. So that's all now finalised for you too. So like I said, these ones just click back up into place for you too. So real nice and easy. Keep coming around. Don't show you across the roof there too. Down the back here. Okay, just a little tiny little bit of dirt. We've got a tiny, very faint little scuff just there. It's not actually sort of into the paint, but it is just a very tiny sort of hairline mark. But not too bad as well. And just that final wheel for you too. It's the same thing through this side. Incredibly well looked after. I've been trying to keep this under 10 minutes, but there's just so much to show you. And just saw just a little tiny little little chip there. It's even coming out a little bit, but it's just a faint little chip there. Alright, so finally just the driver's side door here for you, of course. Uh, all the controls up on the right-hand side here, so for all the electric windows the whole way around. Cent uh, central locking and window locks there too. And of course we've got a his and hers setting for the uh, for the electric seats on the driver's seat side here as well. All your bottle um, holders, everything like that down below. And of course all your lumbar um, and electric adjustments all down here for you too. Again, the Prado mats the whole way around. Uh, we'll pop that bonnet because I want to show you that in just a second as well. So as long as the... Um, Keys are inside the car, foot on the brake. We push this one here to start it up for you. So this will automatically come back into place. So we've got the electric adjustment for the steering wheel here too. So you can up, down, back and forth. Straighten those wheels up for you. Got that beautiful finish on these steering wheels. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but absolutely stunning on these guys. Same down here as well. Absolutely just that effect through the, um, hidden all through the car as well. So starting from the very very top up to here, so we've got the, obviously the sunroof, crack that open and then of course closing back up as well. So that all works as well. Again like I said drop down handles, all the visors, mirrors, everything all works for you too. We've got those little hot hidden extensions there as well for when they're up on the side windows. Got little eyes in the back of the head so again great for the family and kids things like that. And same thing over on the driver's side, everything works for you. Um, as we come down over across the actual steering wheel itself, um, so little display down there, you've got a heap of different little options depending on how you want it set up. So again, we can jump between these guys, um, all up on the right hand side here. So I'll just zoom in so you can actually see as well. So we've got current kilometres at 82,448. And as we skip through the little options here, I've got obviously the adjustment for the steering wheel to show you the angle that the actual wheels are on, which are great for driving, things like that. The compass, music, all your little notifications, all your little safety settings, all that stuff, all through here as well. So all your personalization stuff, uh, what you do like, what you don't like, average trips, all that sort of stuff through there. 
Um, we've got adaptive cruise control on here as well, lane departure there and all your blind spot monitors on the outside, your cruise control button and controls down here for you too. Automatic headlights at the top, so automatic, uh, otherwise parkers, headlights, high beams, everything's all like normal, um, but leave it on automatic, they're going to turn on and off as they need to. Um, hidden behind those, we've got your mirror adjustments. Oh, try and show you. There you go. <laughs> Left side of the car, right side of the car, and just adjust them as you need to. Uh, you've got a power fold option to tuck these guys in there as well. Kick those in and out. And of course, automatic high beams there as well. So turn that one on. Uh, they're going to basically, they're light sensitive as well. So if cars coming towards us on the highway or anything like that, they're going to turn on and off as they need to. Uh, got your little uh, headlight washer there as well. Um, all your dimmers, idle ups, all that sort of stuff down the bottom there too. Up on the left hand side. Uh, again, we can jump straight to the little mirror, so we've got the 360 cameras there as well, so that little button down here is going to take us straight to that option. Uh, otherwise, when you go into a reverse, it's going to take you to those as well. So you've got a couple of different options in there too. Otherwise, that little DPF, so the recall on these guys has all been done. That's a little switch for that one. And of course, all those parking sensors, you can turn those on and off as well if they're annoying you. Um, automatic wipers here too, so they're speed sensitive and of course, might rain sensitive as well, so the more it rains, the faster they go. Um, otherwise, all your radio... Uh, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff's all up on the left hand side here too. So massive big touchscreen display up here. We've got AM radio, FM radio, Bluetooth, all that kind of thing through there as well. This main little home button is going to bring us to this little favorites um, option here too. So we can jump straight into the sat nav, straight into your little settings, radio, whatever you want. Uh, you can customize that menu as well. So there's heaps of customization stuff up there too. Down the bottom here, all your aircon controls. So uh, we've got dual climate control. So if I'm sitting here freezing my guts off, the temp uh, passenger can sit there and crank theirs up and mine can be totally independent there as well where you want the fan speeds coming out of, of course. And if you do want to turn those aircon vents off for the back, so it's just you driving, save a bit of fuel, you can turn those on and off with that one as well. Um, all your full drive options down here, absolutely stacks of different options here too. So you can go between the different uh, options in the car. We can adjust the height of the car there too, and go between all the different um, settings, crawl speeds, everything like that too. So if you're doing all the creepy, crawl, crawly, hectic full driving, um, and you do want to adjust how fast you're actually going to go in first gear, so you can do that sort of stuff, it's all completely customizable here as well. So really awesome full drive. We've got all these little compartments tucked away here too, so the adjustable cup holders down the bottom, a little bit of storage up under there as well. Uh, like I said, chuck it in reverse, we've got that good reverse camera and everything there as well with all the predictable uh, lines telling you where you're going, and of course the stationary ones which make it great for lining up yourself with uh, parallel car park, stuff like that. Chuck it back in park. Oh, those are eco mode, normal mode, and of course your sports mode there too. It does change the color of the dash as we go between those. So, eco, normal, sports. Um, as we keep going, we've got heated and cooled seats for the front two seats, which is just fantastic. I love rubbing cans, so we love the, the aircon seats. Otherwise, obviously, where you are might be a little bit colder, so you can crank up the heated ones as well. So, really nifty feature down there. Uh, otherwise, accessory plug, USB, AUX, and of course, the uh, cooler in there as well. So, crank that on. You hear that working now as well. It does draw a little bit of power, but really nifty feature. Other than that, incredibly tidy through here. We've got the adjustable seat belts on both front seats, and like I said, drop down handles the whole way along. Uh, we've even got the two solid ones, make it nice and easy to uh, jumping in and out of the car uh, on wet days, things like that. So, I'm going to leave this running for just two seconds because I do want to quickly show you under that bonnet there as well before we finish up. So, that is just be able to let me know that I do have the keys in my pocket and that the car is still running just in case you have forgotten. So, all up on struts makes life very nice and easy. A little two point. 8 litre turbo diesel full drive, all through there as well. Just one battery through there too. But one of the last cars that still give you room to put a second battery if you do want to put it as well. So, not many full drives do that anymore, which is a bit of a shame. And of course, again, thank you so much for your inquiry. Um, cannot wait to hear your feedback soon.